dat er soms een onzorgvuldigheid in zit. Karen Armstrong, welkom. Dank je. Um, well, your book. It couldn't have come at a, at a better time, right? Well, yes, but there's usually something of this sort happening in the world at the time, which is why I wanted to write this book. Yeah. Uh, because I felt that there, uh, we tend to be concentrating too much on the religious aspects of some of these terrorist acts. Yes, and that's what you're going to explain in this interview. Um, so this, this, this violence that we saw in, in Paris, um, it's not only an attack on cartoonists or policemen in, in France and in Belgium, but it's also an attack on Jews. Mm -hmm. uh, um, still, they had nothing to do with these cartoons. Why are they a target? Pa Palestine. Um, if we, it seems things are a bit murky at the moment, but it seems that IS was behind the at attack on the, uh, on the supermarket, the mm -hmm. kosher supermarket. Um, and uh, IS, of course, has plans, or its ambition is to conquer Palestine. Um, Palestine has become, in the Muslim world, a symbol of everything that has gone wrong with Islam in the modern world, its powerlessness, its helplessness. So you're saying that anti-Semitism has to do with this political issue and it's not endemic in Islam? No, it's not endemic in Islam. Uh, in fact, uh, when it, there, there was no tradition of uh, persecution of Jews until the State of Israel became a possibility. Um, it was brought over, our, our particular anti-Semitism was brought over to the Middle East by Christian missionaries. And at first, when um, uh, the Muslims heard these, these stories about Jews, uh, terrible stories about Jews that were current in Europe, um, they, they laughed. They thought they were absolutely absurd. Unfortunately, most unfortunately, our Western anti-Semitism, which we have now repudiated, uh, has, has, is what one of the few Western es exports that Muslims have been happy to accept because of Palestine. I was on a, a UN commission uh, appointed by Kofi Annan uh, to diagnose the causes of extremism and we were from all over the world and we all came to the, con we concluded that whatever other measures we took, uh, whether about immigration or education or youth uh, opportunities, if we did not address and find an equitable solution to the question of Palestine, everything else was a waste of time. Um, in our country, our Prime Minister said, um, we don't let terrorists take away our fundamental rights. This is an attack on freedom, on democracy. Yes. Is he right? Uh, yes, yes and no. Um, the, um, certainly, freedom, is a sacred value for us in our secular world. Now, sacred, of course, does not mean anything to do with God or the supernatural. It means something that is absolutely non-negotiable, mm -hmm. so central to our identity that we feel personally impaired, attacked, uh, if our freedom is attacked. Uh, also, it's a, freedom is essential to me as a writer. It's also central to our economy. Um, it was uh, free, free thinking was absolutely essential to the development of the modern economy. And so it is, it is, it is an attack on that. But uh, now it seems that Al-Qaeda was behind or has claimed to have been behind the attack on, on, on the magazine. Mm -hmm. um, and Al-Qaeda always chooses its targets very carefully, as we saw on September the 11th with a iconic buildings chosen mm -hmm. representing America's military and economic might. Um, here you have a, an attack in the name of our sacred symbol, Muhammad, on your sacred symbol, secularism. Now, uh, and naturally, we feel absolutely gutted and assaulted by this uh, because, of, because it is so central to us. My fear, however, is that uh, Al-Qaeda's intent behind this is to create a clash of civilizations. That's what they want. That's what this is about. Okay, if, you, if that's what you say, um, how about this question of violence and Islam? Is Islam a source of violence? It hasn't been for the vast majority of its history. Of course, Islam became a great empire, mm -hmm. and all empires employ violence. Hence, uh, they had to work out an, uh, uh, laws about jihad, mostly taken from the Persian 
um, uh, empire that preceded Islam in, in, in large parts of the empire. But jihad and its derivatives, the word jihad. Jihad, uh, the holy war, yes. Well, it doesn't mean holy war, oh. it means struggle, struggle. Uh, effort. Okay. Uh, it occurs only 41 times in the Quran, and in only 10 of those instances does it refer un uh, unambiguously, clearly, to warfare. Yes. All other times it means an effort. It's a struggle, perhaps, if you have very little yourself yeah. to give food or money to somebody who is in need. Okay. That is a struggle, that's so a you, jihad. So you say that the Quran, in, in, in essence, is not a violent uh, book, but still, these terrorists, they, yes. they shout Allah Akbar, and yes. they commit these atrocities in the name of their religion. Certainly, and I'm not saying in any way that religion is not implicated in any of these actions. It Obviously is. it is. But what I am arguing is that it is never the, the only or even the main reason. Mm -hmm. uh, terrorist experts tell us that um, terrorism is always, what, whatever the, its ideology, whatever economic imperatives may drive it, mm -hmm. it's always essentially political. It's about grabbing power, taking power, challenging the status quo, uh, or um, trying to terrorize the pop uh, population into accepting a different policy. Okay, in what way is this political then? I mean, what, what's the political aspect of this terrorism? Uh, basically, uh, you see that uh, IS wants to dismantle the, um, the, the nation states set up very ineptly by the British and the French about a hundred years ago in the Middle East. Yes. Nation nationalism and the nation state had no roots there. Al-Qaeda wants, as I say, to create a clash of civilizations. Yes, but they want a caliphate. caliphate. Uh, well, That's what ISIS wants, isn't it? ISIS wants a caliphate, yes. yes. So, uh, so this, is, this is a nonsense, of course. Um, why? Uh, it's laughed at in the Muslim world. and, and, and it, it is? Of course. Uh, the, ca the caliphate uh, was a dead letter politically uh, for centuries. Uh, it had symbolic value. Uh, it was the last link with the Prophet. Mm -hmm. uh, and when Ataturk uh, dismantled it in, uh, in the 19, when, when he came to power, uh, this was felt as a wound and a loss. But nobody seriously uh, thinks that the Caliphate can be uh, re resurrected. Oh, because my, my impression was that many people are very scared of these ideas. They are in the West, yes, because... But not in the East, in the uh, Middle East. They, it, as I say, it, most of IS's ideology, ideology is, is simply regarded as risible by Sunni and Shia alike. Yeah. What, but what, nevertheless, what uh, they are questioning, IS, is, is a modern concern about the viability of the nation state in a, an increasingly globalized world, especially in a region where nationalism before the British and the French ex set up these states, mm -hmm. uh, most ineptly and with a great deal of uh, idiocy, really. Um, Iraq, for example, Winston Churchill included a huge sweep of Kurdistan because there's oil there. And um, so, uh, and, and, cre and put together incompatible peoples. Okay, you said these kind of political but matters also influence what's happening right now. Yes, uh, because th this is a, an Islamic way of expressing an unease yes. with the nation state. Okay, unease with the nation state, I understand that, but still it's, it's hard to believe these days. Um, we had Paris, we had Belgium, you had 9-11, mm. uh, Theo van Gogh, the murder of him, ISIS. You say it's, it's politically driven and as well, not... As well as religiously driven. Okay. The, the two are blended. Um, in the pre-modern world, uh, religion and politics, and that included, and in Europe too, was so intertwined that trying to take religion out of politics would have been like taking the gin out of the cocktail. Mm -hmm. And that still is pretty much what pertains in the Muslim world, uh, in much of the Muslim world. And Bin Laden, it must be said, in his statements, was absolutely clear about his political intentions. Um, he might have been talking about Allah and God and Islam, but he also uh, blamed America for supporting Saudi Arabia um, and for interfering in the politics of the Middle East and, and supporting corrupt rulers there and Palestine. 
uh, the, question, the political question of Palestine always ranked high in, in his statements. He was absolutely clear about this. Yeah. You're saying this is, this is politically driven as well as religiously. Yes. Your opponents say that in this way you are, in fact, absolving religion from its responsibility. No, uh, I think religion has a great responsibility to stand up against this terrorism and to, as also to stand up against injustice uh, and, uh, as well. Uh, re this, is, this is, as you, it were, bad religion. You have bad art. Uh, you have a bad religion too, and this is a, a, a sheer abuse of religion. IS, in my view, are a, a bunch of thugs, um, who, and uh, the, uh, many of the people who are in their ranks uh, are secularists. So probably. what you're saying is, is the heart of religion is about compassion and about suffering, about all those kinds of things? Religion does lots of different things. Yes. And because it imbued the whole of life before we separated uh, religion, church and state, uh, it, things like war, state building and warfare were inevitably religiously charged for everybody, Christians, Jews, Chinese, uh, and Indians. Yeah. Um, and because, that's because we're meaning-seeking creatures and we want to inject uh, some kind of value into anything we do. If, if we can't find meaning and value in our lives, we, we fall into despair. And many uh, surveys who uh, forensic psychiatrists have interviewed the terrorists who were involved in, the, in many of these lone wolf uh, attacks. Yes. And plus uh, the, 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 the 500 people who were involved in the 9-11 attack. Mm -hmm. And they found that um, one of them, who is not a liberal softy like me, but a CIA officer, yeah. uh, and a, as well as being a psychiatrist, found that uh, is, the problem was not Islam, but rather ignorance of Islam. Very, only 20% of these people, he said, had a typical Muslim upbringing. So you're saying that most terrorists aren't so religious at all? Well, two uh, jihad, wannabe jihadis who left Britain in May to join the jihad in Syria had ordered from Amazon a book called Islam for Dummies, uh, which kind of may indicate the level of their Islamic expertise. Yeah, yes. um, and some are, many of them are converts, uh, like the uh, gunmen in Canada, and some are non-observant, like okay. the Boris Boston Marathon bombers. Still, we. we